गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ बी एस सी थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फिशरी साइंस बॉयज ड्यूरिंग लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल ऑफ आवर सिलेबस दैट इज मराइन वॉटर फ्रॉम कल्चर टूडे वी हैव कंप्लीट दिस आर्टिकल लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस मराइन वॉटर फ्रॉन कल्चर इज द मेथड्स ऑफ फ्रॉन फिशिंग इन मरीन वॉटर ऑफ इंडिया ड्यूरिंग लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सीन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिव नेट्स these active net these are to be used to capture the marine water prawns from east coast and west coast of india now today we have seen few another nets these nets these are to be used to capture to catch the prawns from culture water bodies that may be fresh water or that may be marine water last period we have seen the important active net that is the cast net its structure and its operation cast net is also called as ghagriya jal ghagriya jal is also called as umbrella net or due to the strength power which is to be required for operating net this net is also called as thrive net these are the active nets to catch the prawns from indian waters this net these are to be used on maximum scale on large scale now the next net that is the active nets gill nets active nets gill nets gill net is also a active net sometime this gill net is also used passively hence it is also called as passive gill net means depending upon its operation nets are same gill nets are same but depending upon its operation whether this net these are to be operated actively then it is to be called as active gill net when this net these are to be operate passively once net these are to be set up and as it is for 15 days for one month net these are to be keep one place then it is called as passive gill net but to capture the prawns from east coast and west coast passive net these are to be not used active nets these are to be used on large scale gill nets name itself indicate that this gill net these are to be manufactured these are to be constructed in ancient times as well as today's time this net these are to be manufactured with the help of cotton thread it is to be manufactured with the help of hemp thread it is also used flax thread silk thread jute thread and today in modern days nylon thread these are to be used everywhere nylon threads these are to be used everywhere this nylon thread these are to be more durable more strength and this is to be depending upon the water color dark color as well as faint color and when we can use faint color nylon thread it is to be invisible to the naked eye as well as it is to be invisible in water and hence to capture the fishes this such type of nylon thread these are to be used to construct to manufacture the gill nets name itself indicate that this gill net it is also called as wall net because once this net these are to be operate used to capture the prawn from east coast and west coast this net these are to be appear as a wall like structure appear as a wall like structure wall like appearance in water and when fish these are to be move from one place to another place or from one direction to the other direction or one side to another side then at the time of movement fishes these are to be enter from one area to another area 
but in between these two areas net is to be operate and this net is to be act as a partition it is to be act as a partition and when fish these are to be enter from one side to the other side it is to be not known whether net is to be operate or not operate first fish these are to be enter in the mesh webbing of net when its head is to be enter but body is to be not entering completely and net is to be entangled at the place of mouth or at the place of dorsal fin area then fish these are to be give sensation and hence fish these are to be backward position move backward position when it is to be move backward position then this net these are to be entangled at the place of gill area at the place of upper claw means when it is to be move in forward position due to the maximum size fish is to be not pass from net webbing when it is to be move to the backward position this net these are to be entangled at the place of upper coulomb at the place of gill and fish is to be not forwarded or backwarded and it is to be entangled in as it is place where it is to be found that fishes these are to be untangled and fishes these are to be caught captured that net is called as the gill net it is to be look like a wall like appearance gill nets when net these are to be operate actively fisherman these are to be operate net actively from one area to another area or they can encircle the required place required area of water and move the net by circular manner or by different manner and prawns these are to be caught captured it is called as the gill net or it is also called as wall net gill nets fair fish these are to be caught captured at the place of gill area at the place of gill region hence this net is called as the gill nets gill nets are again further divided into three different types one is the drifting gill net or floating gill net second is the stationary gill net and third is the anchored gill net these are the three types first floating gill net the net these are to be float on the water surface it is called as floating gill net then anchored gill net net these are to be tied by two ends with anchorage in a stones or poles and net these are to be fixed in water inside the water it is called as stationary gill net or it is also called as a anchored gill net with the anchoraging poles or the different stones this net these are to be tied two ends fixed in water and net these are to be operate to catch to capture the prawns in east coast and west coast see the figure the first figure which is to be seen it is to be called as the drifting gill net or the floating gill net these are the Yes, these are I have quoted in red color. These are the floats. These are the floats, and these are the black color. These are the sinkers. These floats and sinkers to the head rope. Floats these are to be tied to the foot rope. Sinker these are to be tied. Floats are of that is either thermocol, either plastic, either iron or either light weighted wooden plates or wooden particles. wooden parts used as a floats where are sinkers these sinkers these are to be either iron or these are to be either stones and these sinker these are when floats and sinker these are to be tied floats on the head rope and sinker on the foot rope this net these are to be a perpendicular position which is to be operate in water and it is to be touches to the bottom line due to the sinkers which is to be attached and net these are to be perpendicular in water hence when fish these are to be move from this direction to this area then these fishes first their head is to be enter but body is to be not enter when fish these are to be backward then head is to be entangled at the place of gill area at the place of upper coulomb and it is to be do not escape such fishing is called as the fishing active nets that is the drifting gill net second is the that is the stationary gill net see this is the stationary gill net 
this is the sides mesh webbing again these are the white color these are the floats then these are the bottom are the sinkers then these are the air locks or handles where net is to be operated signal we have seen we have seen that these are the signals to identify the fisherman fair net is to be operated fair net is to be and these net these are to be stationary fixed into two poles this is the one pole area and this is the other pole a pole area in these two poles this net these are to be fixed in a vertical position wall like structure and when fish these are to be move from in this direction and uh, then it is to be entangled in this net when these fish these are to move in this direction then fish these are to be entangled and it is to be called as the active stationary net or another type of the net gill net is called as active anchored gill net anchored means simple anchored and stationary there is no major difference remember that there is no major difference in between anchored gill net and stationary gill net anchored gill net only these anchored gill net with the help of poles or with the help of stones this net these are to be tied to the both ends in this fashion these are to be tied to the both ends and these net these are to be fixed in a particular depth of water and it is to be act as a wall like appearance and it is to be covered a water spread area it is called as stationary gill net or it is another gill net is anchored gill net see this is anchored gill net these are the indicators flags where net these are to be operated this is surface water of area and these net these are to be operated in the bottom in anchoraging of wooden poles anchoraging of wooden poles and net these are to be operated in such a manner that when fish these are to be passed from this direction or from this direction then these are to be entangled and it is to be operated fisherman these are to be operated these gill net from early in the morning up to the evening time and those fish those prawn these are to be entangled in these gill net these prawn these are to be picked up by fisherman and then they can enter into the market what is the symptoms how the fish these are to be entangled in the gill net when this gill net these are to be used in passively in passive manner fisherman these net early in the morning these net these are to be operated in a desired place in a desired area desired depth and when these are to be operated this net in a required place then when fishes these are to be entangled to these gill net the float of that place where fish these are to be entangled this float these are to be deep inside the water and when these float these are to be deep inside the water fisherman see the net in which place float these are to be deep inside the water at that place it is the indicator indicate that where float these are to be tied where float these are to be tied and these float these are to be deep inside the water at that place the fish these are to be entangled or prawns these are to be entangled with this gill net fisherman can caught with this gill net fisherman these are to be caught captured the prawns with the help of active net that is the gill net then second <coughs> see this is the rampani net <coughs> or in which type of net this is the drag net or it is also called as peda wala drift net drag net remember that this net these are to be construct created this is the drag net are of two types without bag with bag this net is with bag to the cord end of this drift net or the drag net bag is to be tied then again these are the ropes are the cord this is the head rope to these head rope float these are to be tied these are the floats which is to be indicated by red color yes then to the foot rope to the foot rope that is indicated in green color these foot rope sinker these are to be tied these are the broad these are the broad and this is the net webbing these are the net webbing this is the bag this is the bag the net webbing size of this drag net drift net these are to be larger mesh size to this cord end i have raised the smaller net size to the central place 
and this is the back end. Why this such condition? These are to be occur. Those area which is to be encircled, those area which is to be covered by fishermen. In that areas, fishes these are to be enter, and those are small fishes. They can escape from this dragnet. One side fishermen these are to be used keeping one end on the boats or ships, and on another end on the other side of the rope. These end these are to be operated by fishermen. Inside the water body in east coast and west coast, and these are to be spread in water. Desired area these are to be covered by these fishermen. Then slowly, both fishermen, both the end of these fishermen, they can hold this net slowly, slowly. What happens? Those fishes these are to be encircled in this place up to this area. All these fishes these are to be enter inside this dragnet. Inside this dragnet, those are smaller. They can escape out. Those are larger. They can push to the backward, and they can enter in the bag. This bag is the replaceable bag. These are to be tied, and these are to be removed for required condition. And such dragnet to use to catch capture the prawns from east coast and west coast. It is the active dragnet. It is the active net. Active net. fishermen they can operate they can use slowly and use these two ropes cord end that is foot rope and height rope these are to be pull slowly with the help of strength with the help of power to the bank of the river bank of the ocean or sea or that is near to the inshore water and those prawn these are to be entangled inside this bag inside this area cord area these prawn these are to be picked up by fishermen and then they can enter into the market means with the help of this dragnet with the help of this active dragnet fishermen can catch capture the fishes from culturable side of east coast and west coast it is also important active net that is dragnet or dip net it is also called as peda wala it is also commonly called as peda wala in different coastal areas that is it is also called as a type of dip net just to be seen just to be seen this yes that is the with the help of this drip net or the drag net fisherman can caught captured the prawns cultured in east coast and west coast then next type of net yes this is active net called as rampan net we have already seen we have already study in mackerel fishery that is the rampan net rampan net Portugal's priest. Portugal's priest. These are to be discovered first time. This net on Canara coast of Goa area or Canara area, and these nets. These are to be constructed. These are to be prepared by the priest, and hence it is called as Rampani nets or the Rampan nets. Rampan. It is also active net for construction. These Rampan net use of cotton thread, use of hemp thread, use of jute thread or silk thread, or in today use of nylon thread they can use. Again, these rampan net these are to be constructed, these are to be manufactured with the help of two types of rampan net: small rampan net and large rampan net. Small rampan net up to hundred pieces of net webbing called as construct. rampan net small rampan net when use more than 500 pieces of net webbing it is called as large rampan net interesting character to construct this rampan net is that central central when 100 pieces these are to be used when 100 pieces these are to be used to construct the rampan net central these red color central these red color pieces these are to be used to construct these are called as the chicken bale these are called as the chicken bale central portion which is to be small size net webbing of this piece is to be these are to be small size and this side portion these are to be 40 pieces from one side 40 pieces from other side that is called as the ali bale these are called as ali bale 
दीज आली वाले दीज आर नेट वेबिंग दीज आर टू बी लार्जर साइज इट इज टू बी नियर अबाउट थर्टी एम एम एंड इन द सेंटर इट इज टू बी नियर अबाउट इलेवन एम एम इन साइज और दीज डायमीटर ऑफ द नेट वेबिंग दीज आर टू बी हाउ मच इट इज टू बी नियर अबाउट थर्टी सेंटीमीटर टू द दीज साइड पोर्शन एंड इलेवन और ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर टू द सेंट्रल पोर्शन मीन्स साइड पोर्शन द नेट वेबिंग मेस साइज दीज आर टू बी लार्जर वेर आइज इन सेंटर साइज दिस नेट वेबिंग मेसेस दीज आर टू बी स्मॉल बिकॉज दोज आर द लार्ज साइड पोर्शन दे कैन एस्केप द स्मॉल फिशेस एंड दे कैन ग्रो एट लीस्ट ए मैक्म ग्रोथ दीज फिशेज आर द प्रॉन्स दीज आर टू बी क्वाट दीज आर टू बी कैप्चर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस नेट साइड पोर्शन इज कॉल्ड एज आली बाले एंड सेंट्रल पोर्शन इज कॉल्ड एज चिकन बाले वेन नेट दीज आर टू बी कंस्ट्रक्ट मोर दैन फाइव हंड्रेड पीसेस देन सेंटर वन हंड्रेड पीसेस एंड साइड टू हंड्रेड पीसेस साइड टू हंड्रेड पीसेस इज कॉल्ड एज आली बाले एंड सेंट्रल वन हंड्रेड पीसेस दीज आर कॉल्ड एज चिकन बाले चिकन बाले नेट वेबिंग दीज आर टू बी स्मॉल इन मेस साइज अली बाले नेट वेबिंग इज टू बी ग्रेजुअली डिक्रीज टूअर्ड द आउटर साइड टूअर्ड द सेंटर दीज आर टू बी ए ग्रेजुअल डिक्रीज इन मेस साइज और द मेस वेबिंग देन दिस नेट दीज आर टू बी लार्जर हेन्स इट इज टू बी ऑपरेट बाय लार्ज फिशरमैन मोर दैन एटी टू सिक्सटी फिशरमैन दीज आर टू बी ऑपरेट फिफ्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द फिशरमैन दीज आर टू बी सीट ऑन वन साइड ऑफ द और वन बैंक ऑफ द ओशन बैंक ऑफ द सी कीपिंग वन हाई वन एंड ऑफ दिस रोप इन हैंड्स एंड अंदर दिस एंड ऑफ रोप दीज आर टू बी यूज बाय ए अंदर फिशरमैन एंड दे कैन स्प्रेड ए डिजायर्ड प्लेस टू किलोमीटर थ्री किलोमीटर और फाइव किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस इन ए सी एंड ओशन टू दिस नेट इज टू बी लार्जर दैट्स वाई इट इज टू बी डिफिकल्ट टू पुश टू पुल हेन्स बैक साइड टू दीज रामपन नेट दीज आर द बोट्स दीज आर द बोट्स आर सिप्स दीज बोट्स दीज सिप्स दे कैन सपोर्ट एंड पुश दिस नेट फेर देर इज ऑब्स्टैकल फेर देर इज ए प्रॉब्लम टू पुश द नेट ए फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन एट दैट टाइम दिस बोट्स दीज आर टू बी सपोर्ट टू पुश द नेट्स फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर प्लेस एंड वेन डिजाइड एरिया दीज आर टू बी कवर्ड बाय दिस रामपन नेट विथ दिस फिशरमैन टू द अदर साइड टू द दिस एंड बोथ साइड ऑफ फिशरमैन दैट मे बी थर्टी फ्रॉम दिस साइड थर्टी फ्रॉम दिस साइड और फोर्टी फ्रॉम दिस साइड एंड फोर्टी फ्रॉम दिस साइड दीज फिशरमैन दीज आर टू बी पुल द नेट स्लोली स्लोली वॉट हैपन्स वेन दे कैन पुल द नेट दोज आर द स्मॉल साइज फिशेज then as they can escape from the ali bali and those are the larger fishes they can collect they can gather in the central portion this rampan net is to be without bag no bag is to be present to the rampan net and once this net these are to be operate slowly slowly again to this rampan net floats and sinker these are to be tied floats these are to be tied to the head rope and sinker these are to be tied to the foot ropes floats are of plastic floats are of thermocol floats are of light weighted and sinkers are iron or it is to be on stones these are to be used and this net these are to be operated slowly when this net these are to be completely out of water then those prawns fishes these are to be entangled inside this rampan net all these prawns and fishes these are to be collected and they can marketed in desired place that is operations of the rampani net which is to be seen in, in this figure as well in this figure also see that is movable rampani net how this rampani net these are to be moved from one place to another place movable rampani net these are to be seen these are the floats and these are the sinkers and these floats and sinkers these are to be keep net tight and horizontal as well as in vertical condition when these are to be towing from one place to another place with this rampani net prawns and fishes these are car to be caught captured then another type it is also a active type of rampan net with this <coughs> rampan net prawns and fishes these are to be caught captured and with these active nets that is cast net active net that is gill net active net that is drag net and active net rampan net these rampan net drag net cast net gill net they can actively operate to catch to capture the cultured prawn in south in north as well as in 
that is east coast and west coast of india means where the fishermen where the prawn culture is they can culture the prawn these prawn culture is when they their prawns they can marketed when market this there is full of demand market is to be maximum demand and supply when it is to be occur price is to be good at that time they can harvest they can caught they can capture their cultured prawn with the help of these active net either cast net either gill net either rampant net or either the drag net and then captured prawns they can enter they can tied in bundles they can tie in bundles and then these are tied bundle these are to be transported for fresh in marketing as a food and with this these <coughs> fresh prawn in india the prawn and prawn product they can consume on a large scale and india's economy that is 10 to 15 percent of india's economy these are to be support these are to be strengthened to the prawn and prawn product and hence day by day its popularity these are to be increased its popularity is to be increased and culturable conditions of pinnaceous indicus and pinnaceous monodon also increase and hence it is a good symptoms and good symbol in future in our country there is a great scope for prawn and prawn product hence prawn culture is the good ideal earning a maximum benefit because culturable these when prawn these are to be culture for one hectare areas these prawn these are to be caught these are to be captured and production of this prawn these are to be more than 2 ton 3 ton when these 3 ton 4 ton prawns these are to be caught captured in a 6 months and per these prawn these are to be sold in international market it is to be near about 1500 to 200 rupees per kg it is to be earn more than 10 to 15 lakh rupees per crop hence this prawn and prawn culture is most important and most a suitable business for the prawn culture is with this we have completed prawn culture in marine water that is pinnaceous indicus and pinnaceous monodon hope you understand from first point general structure food and feeding site selection of prawns then reproduction of prawns then sexuality maturation growth larval food supply all these points and then last point we have seen that is the fishing methods of prawn culture various types of craft and gear as well as that is craft which is to be have seen during last few grades and nets that is the active net with this we have complete this article any problem any difficulty please ask any time hope you have understand good best of luck for your exam for this prawn fishery most important economic commercial point of our syllabus is to be over completed thank you